Hello my fellow peeps and welcome back to Ask Mason Velez Season 2. So, <clears throat> it sure has been a long time since the last time I've asked, uh, that you've asked me various questions. So, I'm finally back. So yeah, this is the start of, uh, coming back in this motherfucker. So, without further ado to ask shit, let's get on with the fucking questions. Okay, Xenon Striker gave me six questions. <clears throat> Number one, what are your goals for 2022? Well, I'm thinking about um, reaching uh, 1,000 subs and uh, start having my videos monetized. And I'm also uh, planning to get a fucking moped. And I guess that's all there is to that. That's all I can think of for right now. Number two, what do you think of the Rolex 24 race of IMSA? Oh, it sure is going to be a fucking long day, since it's going to go up to 24 hours just like that, just like, like, uh, Le Mans race. Uh, well, number three, what are your thoughts on Japanese food? Oh, I sure enjoy them, uh, especially the fucking boba tea and sushi. Number four, what would you do if Pencil Neck does horrible pranks to other people that go way too far? Oh. Oh, I, I bet Pencil Neck and his henchmen will be lynched. If you don't know what lynching means, it, it means uh, the angry mob is going to beat the fuck out of someone. Yeah, that's what lynching means. I hope Pencil Neck is going to get his ass lynched. All right, my fellow peeps, let's go to fucking Lynch. All right, number five, what are your thoughts on Jack Dor uh, Dorothy, or Dorothy, or whatever you say? He's a kid who harasses various women and calls them Karens and got arrested a couple of times from the stupid pranks he did. He... Oh, son of a bitch, I cannot believe he'd done such a thing like that. That, uh, that dude has gone way too far, I can tell you that. What a fucking sexist son of a bitch. Alright, number six, what do you think of Zoom bombing a meeting? Oh, that's fucking terrible. Alright, Dave, Here, here's my only question you say. Uh, what do you think of monetizing YouTube videos? Well, I wouldn't mind about that, but the only problem is that the fucking advertisements, I cannot stand them. All right, Artata. All right, ten questions. All right. Number one, what's your opinion on A and E? Uh, even though I um, haven't watched that channel that much, but I heard that scared uh, Beyond Scared Straight is one of the most confrontational uh, programs I've ever heard. Uh, yeah. Speaking of which, number two, have you watched a show called Beyond Scared Straight? Yeah, I've seen some of them. I even made a, a two-part sketch that is inspired by the show. Number three, what's your opinion on the Sega Genesis? Yeah, I, I agree with your answer because I cannot... Uh, I cannot uh, uh, say anything else but one of the best video game consoles in the 90s. Even though it was released back in 1989. Number four, do you watch the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd LJN Trilogy episode? Uh, yeah, I have. But I don't know if it spells uh, the end of the Angry Video Game Nerd show or not. But I don't know if he's going to continue um, making AVGN episodes. But if uh, but if it's the end of the Angry Video Game Nerd, well, I guess we'll have to live with it. Alright, number five. Uh, how would you react if Pencil Neck was dressed up as a pig? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pencil Neck is going to get what he fucking deserves, man. <laughs> uh. All right, number six. Well, what's your opinion on a TV show, Cops? Bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Mike. You got to know the lyrics. Oh, well, come on, Marcus. You don't know the lyrics either. All right. Yeah, one of the most uh, uh, cop shows I've ever watched. 
All right, number seven. What is, was the most memorable episode you saw on the uh, TV show A Thousand Ways to Die? Oh, well, there's so many options. Uh, especially get, uh, getting... St especially a, a psychotic f a football fan not wearing, uh, not wearing shit. Fansicle? God damn, there's so many to choose from. Can't decide. Number eight. What's your opinion on TLC? Yeah, not that much of a fan. Number nine. What channel do you think Pencil Neck and his henchmen would have their own reality show? Uh, on well, for me, either True TV, TBS, or MTV. Yeah, I guess I would choose uh, these three channels. Oh yeah, especially IFC. Number ten. What's your opinion on Make Way for Naughty? Uh, never seen that much of that naughty shit. Okay, three questions from Lord Red Zero Three. <sighs> Number one, are you excited for next month? What, are you talking about January or February? But if you're talking about February, oh yes, I sure am, because next month is Black History Month. Black Lives Matter! And number two, how was your Christmas? Eh, yeah, it was going well. Yeah, speaking of Christmas, I'll show you what I've got for Christmas later on. Number three, do you hate Nikado, Nico Kato Avocado? Yes. Go ahead and tell me why, uh, why you think about Nico Kato Avocado. Alright, uh, Cyberpod. Number one, what's your opinion on Mike or Angie? I don't like him. Number two, do you want to, uh, hear a reason about why you should rant on Windows Long Cord and MeWe glitches? Uh, yeah, go right ahead, but I won't be able to rant on that until a few weeks has passed. <sighs> Number three, what happened to your legs after doing some skateboard? Kind of felt something on your old channel, but sorry about what happened. Uh, my legs wasn't that much of a pain. Uh, I just have no good skills of skateboarding. But, uh, my confession about my old channel is, is that... Uh, yeah, my, uh, my old channel, my very first channel, uh, was... Wasn't that fucking good. Wasn't that much entertaining to me. Uh, ever since then, I lost my passport of my first channel. Gone It's gone straight down to shit. So... I just had to move to the next one, uh, which get, which got suspended. So, yeah. All right, we're it forever. Number one, what's your opinion on Ace Attorney? Ah, uh, got no opinions on on the franchise that much. Uh, number two, who's your favorite character from Ace Attorney and why? Uh, it's Phoenix and fucking Maya. Uh, and I'm gonna have to skip number three because I don't know which character I hate from the show. I mean the franchise or whatever fuck you mean. Number four, I don't want to hear it. Alright, Oliver Hood. Um, hey Mason, do you think I might be able to be in your Plotagon skit soon? Because I feel like this is my first time coming to Plotagon after a month ago. Also, you're a nice guy when, uh, whenever I sent requests and even messing with catch a bottle. Ginger Devil, Purple Jam, Volcano Nose, Dr. Fish Head, and Dr. Ass Cheeks Man in the hate comments. I, I appreciate it, man. You're cool along with your friends. Uh, yeah, I have added you in, uh, Pencil Neck Reads Hate Comments, uh, episode from last week, have I not? Uh, well... Yeah, I sure am a nice guy, but you sure are a nice guy too. Everyone on uh, on on YouTube supports me. Are nice people too. Yeah. All right, my fellow peeps. Looks like the fucking episode has been finished minutes early. Uh, but regardlessly, uh, from these four users who didn't give me questions, uh, I'm gonna show them uh, I'll show them their true colors to y'all if they don't mind. All right, Scotty is blue, a color of water. Lucy is green, a color of the grass. Matthew is red, a color of fire. And Mason is pink, a color of the wind. 
Well, even though the Q&A episode is, uh, is done, still, but I just want to show you what I got for, uh, for Black Friday. Even though that, um, I show that exclusively on MeWe, but I'm going to show that, uh, show you what I got here as well. So, uh, what I got for Black Friday is this, hmm, a new PlayStation 2 uh, console, uh, All right, my fellow peeps, that's all for now. Uh, if you got any questions for me to submit them, uh, go ahead and do so. And stay tuned later tonight f for the stuff that I got for Christmas. So with, uh, for right now, and until next time, this is Mesa Velez signing off. Thanks for watching.